Hey y'all, this Gabriella, also known as Gab Nicole 2020 from the Next Level Purpose where we plan, set goals, start businesses, and learn to look our best with our hair, taking care of our skin, our fashion, and looking good over 40. Today's video, I'll be talking about how I did this flat twist. It was very simple. I'm not the best at flat twisting, but it turned out okay. And if you want to know how to do a simple flat twist that will look cute, keep watching. Okay, so um, I'm going to do my flat twist. What products I'll be using today are Strands of Faith Leave-In Conditioner, Strands of Faith Twisting Butter, and Natural All Club Black Seed Gel. I had done a flat twist in a while, so we're gonna see how this is gonna come out. My hair was straight, and I just got in the shower this morning and just let it just start to curl up. So when I did my flat twist, it would it would look better. So okay, so now I'll add Strands of Faith leave-in conditioner to the part of my hair that I'm not about to flat twist yet, and put it to the side so it'll kind of stay moisturized while I do this smaller section. Now I'll add the, the leave-in to the smaller section, get it moisturized, to get it prepped to start the flat twist. This is the twisting butter. Now I'll section my hair off to add the flat twist. So now I'm adding the twisting butter to my hair, to this section, to get it prepped. This is the flaxseed gel. Now I'm adding this to my hair to get it prepped, combing it through, and now I'll proceed to flat twist to the front. And as you can see, my technique is not the greatest, but it works. My hair has grown a lot. I'm glad. kind of funny my flat twist there's no rhyme or reason I'm just trying to twist it so I can get a little wave pattern going on with my hair but it'll look okay just adding a little bit more flaxseed gel to the ends always add more product to the ends to make the ends curl okay so I'm gonna separate this into two sections this is Put, my son came in here tried to enter my video but anyway flat twist this section down and this section to the front okay so now I'm proceeding to flat twist the left side of my head and as you see I'm flat twisting this section to the back when you're right-handed, when you're flat twisting the left side of your head, most likely, unless you are very good at flat twisting, it will go in the direction, the backwards direction. I'm continuing, you see I have a few twists. I'm letting you see the back, mm, looks a little weird, but it's okay, it'll work. So glad this is the last flat twist. Seems like I have been doing my hair for hours. Probably not hours, but long enough. Just got off work, tired. So I'm done. It looks a little ratchet, but it should be cute. I'm gonna take it down. Oh, this side looks so cute. Oh my goodness. Juicy, juicy twist. But this side, this little part, heat damage, 
he damages real, so be careful with your hair. A little ratchet. Should be cute. Okay, so I just pin it up. I think I'll wear it like this. Okay, so it's time to take down these flat twists I did. They're pretty ugly, but hopefully it turns out okay. I'll put a little moisturizer on it and I'll start taking it down. So now I'll add the Shea Yogurt Smoothie by Allocate Naturals. This is a thick custard-like um, product and it smells good, so it works good on my hair. As I take down these flat twists, I have to be very careful. I kind of just put my fingers in the spots where it's a natural separation, because as I said, my technique is not the best, but it gets better later in later videos. But if you, when you take it down, you just put your fingers in where there's a natural separation, then you won't have a lot of frizz. But if you just start like unraveling it too quick and just pulling through, even though sometimes you have to do that, it will make it a little bit more frizzier. Yeah, in this section, I did get a little bit of frizz because I couldn't tell where the separation was, so it started to get a little bit frizzy. So, my flat twist technique is not the best. I'm about to do it again, but it looks okay. I'm gonna try to work with this. Try to make it look a little better, fluff it out. That's why I never do flat twists because they're harder to get your head to look right, but when they do work, they work. Look. It's decent, but I can make it look better. Okay, so this is the results of my flat twist. I think it looks pretty good for the first time in a couple of years. So if you like this video, Please comment down below and please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.